Sa wakas, nalaman na rin natin sino pumatay kay Divine. Hi guys, I don't usually talk about Filipino shows and movies on my channel. That's because I don't really have a lot to say about the Filipino films and series I watch. But for today's video, I'll be talking about the show that kept me and my family on the edge of our seats. ABS-CBN's recently concluded Can't Buy Me Love on Netflix. And since this is a Filipino show, I will be speaking Filipino every now and then. But I'll put in some English subs. And for those who are new to my channel, hello! Welcome to my channel where I make summaries, reviews, and other whatnots about films and series I watch. So let me just introduce myself like I always do. Hi, I'm Zidney. And let's talk about Can't Buy Me Love's ending and alternate killers. As we all know, Can't Buy Me Love is a crime mystery story about the Chu family that circles around the question, who killed Divine? Sino ba pumatay kay Divine? Because right from the start, we see Divine's murder, but we don't know who did it. And finally, after months of wondering and guessing, sa wakas, kilala na rin natin kung sino ba pumatay kay Divine. We finally know who did it. Okay, so let's first talk about the ending of Can't Buy Me Love. We've had a handful of suspects who probably killed Divine. Cindy, Gina, Charleston, Wilson, Manong Ibe, and even Auntie Kathy. But most of us never expected Bettina to be the true killer. When they revealed that it was Bettina who killed Divine, me and my family were absolutely surprised. Okay, so it was great that they chose Bettina to be the killer for the shock factor. But for me, the revelation felt short. I know it's going to sound cliche, but I was expecting Bettina to be Manong Ibe and Cindy's child. Kaya parang Manong Ibe was really willing to help Bettina so much. But when it was revealed that Manong Ibe did it solely for money, medyo nakulangan lang ako. I mean, I get that greed is a strong incentive to kill. But they could have added Bettina being his daughter to really strengthen and his motivation. And to add to that, it could be that Divine knew this information, so all the more reason to help Bettina keep Divine quiet. The build-up was also lacking for me. I don't know if I just didn't notice, but it felt like Bettina was love naman. Yes, she's underappreciated kasi she was already working so hard for GLC. But I saw naman that she was loved by her family, especially Cindy, who was always taking her side. Link's usually the one who's getting outcast and inaape. Not that I'm invalidating Bettina's feelings, pero sana they showed it more na hindi talaga pinapansin si Bettina. Maybe that's why we were so shocked kasi nagkulang yung build-up that Bettina was really the killer. But I understand Bettina's motivation in stabbing Divine. She overheard that her father is willing to leave them for Divine. So in order for that not to happen anymore, she decided to kill Divine. Pero natawa lang ako sa pagkasaksak ni Bettina kay Divine. Parang ang hina. Like, ha? Namatay ka na dyan, Divine? But good job to Kyla Estrada. Galing Omarte. Well, sabi ni Mama, kanino pa bang magmamana yan kundi sa parents niya? Okay, so another thing about the ending is that the finale left so many unanswered questions. So many hints and mentions that didn't get a payoff. Let me list them down. 1. This is just a small thing, but we never met Snoop's mom. Snoop was constantly talking to his mom, and I thought there was gonna be some kind of revelation on who she is. Maybe even a guest star, which ABS-CBN likes to do. But no, we don't meet her at all. Number 2. What happens to Manong Ibe? We see Bettina in jail, but we don't really know what happens to Manong Ibe after he gets arrested. Tapos ano bang meron sa black feather na yan at lagi yung nilalagi sa mga killings niya? Diba? We need an explanation for that. Number 3. How about Auntie Kati's connection to the black feather? That's why we were also blaming Auntie Kati. Kasi she has taxidermy animals in one of her rooms. Tapos hindi man lang inexplain sa ending kung ano bang meron dun. Nahimatay pa nga si Ling dun, diba? Pampatraw off lang ba yun sa audience para masisi si Auntie Kati? Number 4. What will happen to Bingo? Gagaling ba siya or kaya sila nagpakasal na ni Ling kasi mamamatay na siya? So many unanswered questions. I wish they made the show into 150 episodes so that we as the audience could receive closure on some of these questions. Parang nirush lang nila yung ending. Mas naging importante na magpakilig sa wedding kisa ibuo ang kwento. So that's what I can say about the ending of Can't Buy Me Love. And if you have answers to my questions, please answer me in the comments. Baka inexplain naman nila, di ko lang natandaan or napansin. 
Anyway, time to talk about the alternate killers. So I've said that the show revolved around the question, Sino ba pumatay kay Divine? And I guess the producers didn't want to spoil the identity, even to the actors, that they shot alternate killers so that everyone thinks they did it. So this is very creative. Okay, so let's start with Caroline and Irene. Okay, I think they just shot these for fun. It doesn't make sense that Caroline killed her own mother. Kaya nga Ling was so angry at her family kasi di sila naniniwala na pinatay ang mama niya. Tapos Irene naman, she was way too young back then like she said. Plus lumait na si Irene. Pangit naman if siya pala talaga pumatay. They would just throw Irene's character development down the drain if she was actually the killer. Okay, now let's look at the more probable suspects. So my number one guess was Cindy. Especially when we found out that it was Cindy and not Divine that Manong Ibe truly loved. Then Manong Ibe suddenly showed up at the location Wilson gave Cindy. I was like, OMG, si Cindy nga! Pero during that time, Bettina was already very suspicious. Kaya nga akala ko is magkasabot si Cindy and si Bettina. Na yun nga, Bettina is Cindy and Manong Ibe's child. Kaya siguro sa jail scene ni Cindy, <laughs> jail scene ni Cindy, Bettina was also there with her. For me, even though it's a bit cliche, it makes sense that these two are working together. Okay, so my next guess was Gina. Of course, that's Rufa Gutierrez, mate contra vida yan. But it's good that Gina's not the killer kasi masyado ng cliche na lagi na lang masama si Rufa. Pero tawang tawa ako when Carlo gave Rufa some cutics. Like, ano bang meron sa cutics? Tapos favorite part ko yun, nauna na yung mga shoes. And Gina was like, Hoy, hintayin nyo naman ako! That was one of the funniest scenes for me. Charleston would have been a good choice as the killer. I just find it strange that Charleston didn't hear the fight between Wilson and Divine. Soundproof yun CR. I just thought that maybe Charleston heard the fight between Wilson and Divine. And this caused him to stab Auntie Divine. Kasi nga, he said that he loved Auntie Divine, but he loved his mom more. But of course, that would have been so painful for Ling if Charleston was the real killer as she really loves her ahya. Super ganda ng plot twist that Manong Ibe is really a bad guy. We all thought that Manong Ibe is just a minor character, that he's just someone who doesn't want to do anything with the choose. But then, boom! It was not Divine that he loved, but Cindy. Kaya nga, when they revealed that, I really thought that it was Manong Ibe who killed Divine. They just haven't shown it to us. But I really like how we didn't expect Manong Ibe to be a bad guy. So the shock factor was there, and at the same time, it makes a lot of sense if you think about it. Finding out that her father was the one who killed her mother would have been absolutely devastating to Ling. As we have seen from the alternate killer's jail scenes, iba yung mukha ni Ling when her dad was in jail. You could really see the pain and heartbreak on her face. But it wouldn't make sense then if si Wilson nga talaga yung pumatay. Kasi he's been helping Ling para mahanap yung kasabot ni Manong Ibe. Unless ganyan siya kagaling maging mastermind. What if I told you I'm a mastermind? But overall, it's a good thing Wilson wasn't the true killer. Kasi ang lungkot naman nun, nawalan na nga ng nanay si Ling, pati ba naman ng tatay. The last one is Carlo. Siguro if they revealed that Carlo was the real killer, I would also be shocked. Kasi Carlo was not there on the night Divine died. Pero wala rin naman si Bettina, kaya nga na-shock tayo when Bettina was revealed. But for me, there's more build up for Carlo if siya ngayon killer. Kasi it was his knife that was used to kill Divine. It was even shown that Gina buried the knife pa to protect her son. As we have heard from the alternate killer's interview, they chose Bettina to be the killer halfway through the show. And it shows naman. I just wish they already decided on the killer before beginning the series. Kasi if right from the start Bettina was really the killer, there would have been hints na and the build-up would have paid off. But overall, Can't Buy Me Love is a great show that has a strong beginning, a compelling middle part, and unfortunately, a weak ending. But I would still recommend watching it kasi as someone who is Filipino-Chinese, I could relate to some of the customs and traditions the Chews did. And it was really fun to hear them, you know, try to speak Chinese. Chinese is really a hard language to learn and to speak, so good job for them. And of course, nasayahan naman kami maghula kung sino ba talaga pumatay kay Divine. Pero alam na natin kung sino pumatay. 
Kaya pwede na rin tayo makatulog ng mahimbing. Hi guys! If you stumbled upon my channel because of Can't Buy Me Love, please do check out my other videos about other films and series I watch. Some of my other videos might interest you. And to my loyal watchers and subscribers, thank you so much for constantly watching. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. See you next time. Bye!